Well, very soon, East Tennessee will be covered in those right there. Those are yeah. cicadas. Your neighborhood will both look and sound very different. These bugs have been growing underground in several states for 17 years. This month, they will burrow their way to the surface. And this is what the cicada invasion looked like 17 years ago in East Tennessee. You can see dozens covered a single bush. Many East Tennesseans sweat the cicadas and their shells off their sidewalks and driveways every day the bugs were here. But some say the most memorable part of the bug invasion was the sound. It sounds like a siren, a disaster siren uh, sounding off. And just bugs are everywhere. They're on every plant, every leaf of every plant in the uh, yard. And as we speak, they're crawling up my legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just like how we saw these cicadas 17 years ago, we will see the next generation in 2038. Don't like to think about them crawling up her leg, but these cicadas are different than the bug you normally hear every summer. There are 15 broods of or groupings of periodical cicada types in the eastern U.S. This year's brood, 10, consists of three species of 17-year cicadas coming out together in perfect symphony. And that means there will be billions, billions with a B of them. Uh -huh. Scientists say there could be more than 1 million per acre, and that amounts to about 25 cicadas per square foot. About 507 could fit on a twin size bed, 4,500 in a standard parking space, and 16,800 cicadas could fit the space of a billboard. A football field? Well, that is 1.2 million brood X cicadas. That is a bunch. Really puts in perspective, and they're loud, like lawnmower loud. It's the males who make all the noise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's their mating call. They're like, hey, check me out. I got this really cool tune. <laughs> hey, check me out. And all of those cicadas are like an all-you-can-eat buffet for other wildlife. Every predator that wants to eat a cicada can eat until their belly is full and they can eat no more, including humans. Mm -hmm. And there will still be enough cicadas left to keep the populations going. Those predators include frogs, birds, raccoons, snakes, and yes, humans. After four to six week, weeks rather above ground, females, they're gonna lay their eggs in thin branches and then they die. The bugs then leave us piles of those crunchy dried skins and their babies will then burrow into the ground where they will stay into the year 2038. So clearly, these are not your normal cicadas. No, Denise reporter Shannon Smith shows us how they differ from your typical summer bugs. Cicadas come out every summer. We all hear them. So what's so different about the brood 10 cicadas that only come out once every 17 years? Well, they look a little different in both size and color. Those cicadas are larger. Um, they're green and white in color. They emerge annually. These periodical cicadas are, are smaller. Brood 10 cicadas are about the size of a shelled peanut. Neither of them bite or sting. The most noticeable difference will be the noise. Individually, they're comparable. But in the case of these um, periodical cicadas, there is a, a much, much greater density of singing males at any one time. Other than kind of hearing those cicadas in the distance and, you know, it's the sign of the end of the summer, um, it will be uh, an in-your-face kind of sound. Entomologists are still learning about the brood 10 cicadas because, well, they only come out once every 17 years. I'm Shannon Smith. And we want to see your cicada photos. Show us what the bug invasion looks like in your life. Are they all over your yard or interrupting your child's sports games? Or maybe you're joining some in cooking and eating the cicadas. Send us your pictures, 865-637-1010 and you may see them here on Channel 10.